Hello fellow light side wielders. I mean, we may not have won this week, but guess what? We have a second chance this week, and I know for a fact you guys are going to bring it this week, and we're going to beat the Sith this time. And uh, you know what? Let's get our journey started, and a quick recap. When we left off, me and Karth crash landed onto this planet, and the game glitched, so you guys didn't get to see Karth telling me that we're going after the Jedi Bastila, who was briefly mentioned in uh, the last episode, because apparently she's super, super powerful. So, me and my Han Solo outfit, we're going to leave. And every time you leave the apartment, you must select which party member you wish to take. Since this is the first time you are leaving, you will have to take Karth. He's like, who, me? Oh, oh okay, I'll, I'll go, I'll go. Alright. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up oh, against no. the wall. This is a ray. Gosh. That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! You're gonna regret doing that, buddy. You killed an innocent man. We're not about to hear the Jedi order. How'd you like that? Good job, Garth. You're welcome. I'm just glad I could help. Did, uh, did you guys catch all that? Do you guys speak his tongue? Because I sure as heck don't. Alright. Tong hate wam chichi jung lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. You malita kuto dun. Pleased to meet you, Laura. My name is Zeldrax. Dunga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule. Tunking ba nunotak. Tuk nincha tu kunde mule rabes. What's so great about these energy seeds? Loda pograshi onio kumba chin tono mochuba. Loda nita kun. Ita patisa batua kacha tu tonga. Bagrasha kun tija ko uta kum justak miki grabul mogo kachichu ita bodunga dolo bank wale oganda. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. I've heard enough about this shit. Ah, chikun ita haldonga, yikin kuno patong abog sha umni nong. I'll be going now. I don't need any of your wares, sir. I know what I'm doing. All right. Now, since we are Jedi, we aren't going to be bashing through that. Well, I mean, I guess we're we're not Jedi. We're just good people. But we will not be bashing through that door. Ooh, the janitor. How's it going, my maintenance friend? Hey there. Well, watch, watch where you're walking. I just cleaned those floors. Sorry, I didn't know. Well, all right, then. No hard feelings. Uh -huh. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. I want to ask you Don't some questions. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. 
Tell me about Terrence. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in the Upper City. All right, where's Just the cantina? Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there, then. And from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. All right, I'll be going now. Work anywhere. I'll probably see you around. I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. Thank you, Mr. Janitor. You were a lot of help. All right, we're going to head down to the actual city now. I don't think there's anything else for us to find in that apartment complex. Okay. Man. Woman. Their names are really unique out here. <laughs> ah, our escape pod. Where Karth was so tactically brilliant, he just took us to the nearest building. And I'm sure there's no way the Sith would ever guess that. Good job, Karth. Speaking of Karth, something seems to be bothering him. Maybe we should give him a, a quick chat, eh? Yes, what's on your mind? I'd like to know some more about you, Carl. Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. You're talking like it's your fault. No, I'm gonna say, I'm sorry, Karth. This must have been very painful. I'm just a soldier. I go with the fleet. I'm a good friend. Stone. Good man. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I, I didn't. I'm sorry, Karth. I didn't mean to upset you. I, I know. Don't worry about it. I just... I'm, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Alright. So Karth was a soldier in this war. And a lot of people he knew died. Dang. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kevla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, most Can I have a lightsaber? What do you mean by that? <laughs> the Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Let me see what you got for sale. Just so you know, the prices on the items are final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Right. For a bunch of, for how much she was going on and on about her materials, there was nothing there that I even remotely wanted. So, uh, jokes on her, huh? So that old guy said there was a cantina near here. I'm guessing this is it. Okay. Ah, Krista. Don't you just love watching the Pazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. What? Dang, that girl. She's got some weird stuff she's into. I wonder what Uno will do to her. <laughs> Circle. Uh, hello, Hi, Sarna. Then. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. <sighs> Is that Azula from Avatar: The Last Airbender? I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sarna, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. Guys, that's Azula from Avatar: The Last Airbender. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taras can't stand us, Sith. It can make this job pretty lonely. Holy crap! 
You can't really blame people. You did conquer the planet. Oh, great. I see where this is going. The Sith are evil. Why did I join them? Blah, blah, blah. I, I don't need a lecture from the likes of you. Sorry, I'm not trying to judge you. Uh, it's okay. I might have overacted a bit. But can you blame me? Everywhere I look, I see one of you Teresians glaring at me with hate in your eyes. Actually, I'm not from Terrace. I'm just stuck here into the quarantine. You're an off -worlder. I figured you'd be even more angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. Hey, we're both strangers on Terrace. We have to stick together, right? Save the sympathetic best friend act. I'm not buying it. But I don't want to fill out a bunch That's of very work on my day off, so let's just pretend this conversation never happened. Now move along. She is she is definitely an Azula type. <laughs> nice outfit. You steal those clothes from a bum in the lower city? Oh well, guess you don't have to have good taste in clothes to come and enjoy the music. Uh, excuse me, you're wearing like a stained robe and I'm wearing Han Solo clothes. So, uh, even in the real world people think Han Solo dress is nice. So I would watch yourself, sir. As a matter of fact, I don't appreciate you talking about my clothes that way. And if I had an option to kill you, which I don't, I'd, I'd do it and I know that's that's terrible because I'm a Jedi and I'm on the light side well I'm not a Jedi I'm just I'm just a light side guy and you know what I, I don't I'm, I'm done here I hope you I hope you don't get your, your, your anything anything I, I hope hope you don't get married hope you don't have any friends and ah oh I'm sorry that was not very Jedi of me I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Mm. Now. I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll! In this corner I give you Gurlon Twofinger! And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! Yes. These are WWE wrestling names right now. Oh! And for oh, nobody's oh. great surprise, Deadeye is down <laughs> again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gurlon Poofingers. Oh, Dad, I don't. What are you looking at? Fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? Dueling chambers? You know, chambers. the dueling chambers. Two people in combat, loser gets carried out unconscious on a stretcher. It's the only reason people come into this part of the cantina. Look, I'm the number five ranked duelist around here. I don't have time to explain all this. Go talk to the duel organizer if you're interested. He's that hut over there in the corner. You're the number five ranked duelist out of how many? Uh, five. But it's an elite <laughs> group, okay? It's not like just anyone can step into the dueling chamber. Well, actually, anyone can. But not many do. All right, yeah, goodbye. that's right. Back off. You know better than the challenge, Dead-Eyed Duncan. I will mess you up. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I, I skipped it. I'm sorry. He said, My name is Unja. I organize all our duels here. We need a new faith in the dueling game, human. Maybe you want to step into the duel ring. It can be a highly profitable venture. I might be interested. What's in this for me? Oh, 
Karagot Pamuji, Gumanabak Mulik. Fibro blades and blasters? And nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Gio Kakon Mulera, Kim Tunjo Pesha, Noba Muleraji. Uh, I don't feel like a Jedi would be in a dueling ring, but I'm not a Jedi. I am just a good guy, and if nobody's dying, I guess I could do it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, the mysterious stranger. I like it. Kipona, ona na kacho, kimba mulera. Isn't that like a there's a character in Fallout named the mysterious stranger? Right? This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endar Spire. Uh, I don't think so. The more I think about it, the more I think a Sith. I'm sorry, a Jedi. I I don't think or a, a, a light wielder. I don't think that they would. They would fight people for sport. I don't know. Maybe maybe my Sith will do it, but you're not gonna switch over to the Sith side now, are you? Uh, that guy was pretty awesome, and I just walked right walked right forward. Yeah, sorry guys, I just this is the light side playthrough, and I don't feel like that's something a light side person would do, and I apologize. I apologize. Dueling people to the death does not really seem like a light side venture. Maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe I'm right. <gasps> What's going on here? Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits. Aww. A down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> not on my watch. <laughs> no, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? No way, Carl. Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Well, I don't like bullies. Leave this man alone or you'll have to deal with me. Well, gonna take out the ringleader first. Yes, light side points again. Thank you. Like Thank you. I owe you my life. Those Quick. bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Maybe I can help you. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. Oh, just glad I can I'm help. getting out of here before any more of that. Dang. Do we not have any credits? Hmm, I only have 68. Darn. Oh, but this guy's got a ton of credits. Why didn't we just... Both those guys out of town. Why don't we just give him their credits? That stinks. Ah, a medical facility. I 
I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Zelka Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. I like you, my friend. healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Rat ghoul disease? What's that? A terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Is there no cure? Mm, there is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. Maybe I could find a way to get my hands on that serum for you. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. Oh, I really? I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Oh, oh, oh. oh my friend, do not worry. Please don't I'll get that serum for you. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Goodbye. I'll be going now. Good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. All right, buddy. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the rat ghoul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Oh, really? I'm not interested. No, don't be an idiot. Just listen to me for you one minute. You look just like that guy earlier sorry. who was... David Kang wants the cure. You are that you guy. You just went over here and put on a different shirt, didn't you? Didn't think I'd notice. I think I'd rather give the serum to Zilka. He'll use it to Helping help. people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling wrong. you, David will pay big credit. You're on the wrong playthrough, for it. More than Zelka could ever afford. Of course not only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rat Ghoul Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. No thanks, buddy. Alright, guys. Uh, I think we're going to call the second episode quits here. And thank you guys so much for choosing the light side. And do not be disheartened by the fact we did not win the first week because there is a second week and I'm sure that we can pull through. Just make sure to share this video with your friends and comment down below and I, we'll, we'll get it in no time. We'll be, the, we'll be the top of the top this week. And if you could also subscribe that, and that way you don't miss out on any episodes I come out with or any of the other content my channel produces. Wait until after the actual game segment is over and the part that's at the end of all my videos is going to be in the top left corner and just click subscribe and you can keep up to date on everything I do. And I know you guys are sad because our adventure is over for this episode, but our journey down the light side will continue in a later video. Cheers!